What's going on, Chiefs Kingdom? Happy New Year. And, well, a uh, close game today. Close game, a nail biter. But a win is a win, and we, the streak continues. We've now won 15 straight games against the Denver Broncos. And, yeah, 27 24, the final score. And,. Yeah, as we go to 13-3 and three on the season with now one game left in the season. And still have a chance to get the one seed in the playoffs. And, yeah, and so the Broncos in their first game without head coach Nathaniel Hackett, they put up a fight. And, yeah, so I'm quite surprised after they allowed 51 points last week to the Rams. And... Yeah, and so in both the two games between the Broncos and Chiefs were cl both close games. So, anyway, we would score our opening, on our opening drive. Isaiah Pacheco, a five-yard run. However, Harrison Buck would miss the extra point. He's had a very disappointing year. I know he made a, like a 60-yarder against the Bills, but, you know, he's been injured, and, yeah, he's had a rough season. So, I was going to say 6 nothing lead, and then Denver will be on the board to make it 6-3. Early in the second, 49-yard field goal. Uh, and then Mahomes would throw an interception uh, in the end zone. It was on third and goal, and, well, the Broncos would then punt. Uh, however, uh, Kadarius Tony uh, would fumble the ball, and then the Broncos would immediately score as Russell Wilson would run for 16 yards into the end zone to give the Broncos a 10 to 6 lead. But it would not last for long as we would go back on top 13 10. Jarek McKinnon, 6 yard catch from Mahomes. And that is now five straight games with a receiving touchdown for Jarek McKinnon, who is uh, mainly a running back, but he's, you know, kind of been working as both a re receiver and running back this season. And he's had a great season. And, yeah, so we're just up 13-10. And the Broncos then fumbled the ball as a... Uh, Wilson was uh, sacked, and Trent McDuffie uh, with the sack, and we recovered by George Karloftis, so a pair of rookies, and uh, it was uh, reviewed, and it would stand. However, we would then get a missed field goal after that. So to remain 13-10, and we could not score on our opening series in the second half, Broncos then take the lead 17 to 13 uh, as Albert Ogumbunam, known really as Albert O, uh, would score 25 yards from Russell Wilson. That would give the Broncos a 17 to, to 13 lead. And that was uh, that tight end's first touchdown of the year. And he's actually went to college at. Missouri, just down the road from Kansas City, uh, so, a uh, homecoming for him, I guess, kind of, and, yes, yeah, so that would give the Broncos the lead 17 to 13, and then, uh, late in the third quarter, that actually, the first play of the fourth quarter, uh, Blake Bell, the backup tight end, would Give us the lead 20 to 17. Uh, and then the first play after that, Russell Wilson would uh, throw an interception by Le by Legarius Sneed. However, Sneed would be injured uh, after he was tackled. And then four plays later on second of goal, McKinnon with his second touchdown to give us the lead 27 17. And then the Broncos would cut the lead down to three. 
Russell Wilson, four yard run to make it 27 24. And then we would punt, and then the Broncos would get the ball back with under four minutes left. And then Chris Jones would sack Russell Wilson on fourth and two to give us the win, pretty much. Uh, and yeah, so a nail biting win, but you know, a win is a win. And yeah, so it came down to came down to the end, and uh, yeah, it's definitely a game that was a lot closer than I think probably most people thought, but, oh well, and yeah, a four-sack day for the Chiefs defense, Carlotta's, Saunders, Jones, and McDuffie would each have a sack, a total of 10 tackles for Nick Bolton, and yeah, and 320 yards for Mahomes continues to lead the league in passing yards. And he also, in this game, reached 5,000 passing yards for the season as he joined uh, Tom Brady and Drew Brees as the only quarterbacks with multiple 5,000 yard passing seasons. So, pretty incredible. He had 5,000 yards in his MVP season in 2018. Yeah, just amazing. So, regular season finale next Sunday against the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, yeah, could all, I could also possibly be on Saturday. There'll be two games on Saturday, but we'll see. So, the Raiders are mathematically still alive at this moment for the playoffs, but very, very slim chance. So, we'll see what happens, and also see if the Bengals can beat the Bills tomorrow night, and that if we win next week, then we would have the one seed in the first round by. So anyway, until next week, Alex Bigger saying, Happy New Year, and go Chiefs.